Ciao a tutti, Daniel here. Today I'm going to show you how to model three mechanical parts in Blender. Let's crack on. Number one, the cogwheel. We start creating a flat shape of a circle. 32 vertices should be enough for this first model we're gonna create. I'm going to show you two different um, cogwheel or gears. We're gonna go in edit mode and select the vertices and for the first one we're gonna select every second vertex so take some time but it's certainly a quick enough way for this amount of vertexes once we selected every second vertex we can scale them down and we will achieve our star shaped next thing is to have this as a field shape because right now we have only the profile of it so we will go again in edit mode and select everything and now we have different ways to make a polygon that will basically be the face we select all the vertices and then click on we go to make face and we will do our face another way to do the same thing is basically selecting in edit mode all the vertexes and basically fill the hole and hit here this fill holes it's the same result once we have the flat shape we can extrude so again in edit mode we select our only face which is the only face we have in this object we I remove the snap because I want more control and we'll extrude so our gear wheel cog wheel has some kind of depth I'm not happy yet I need a hole in it so I will just build a cylinder With the boolean operations and with the boolean operation I will cut a hole in the star so modifier boolean select the second object difference and then apply we can both just hide the object or remove it altogether if we don't need it anymore and here is the first one now just move it a little bit on the side and we'll do a second one with a different shape so let's go and create another circle 32 vertices it's okay it depends on the number of uh, teeth you want on the on the wheel this time we're gonna select vertices and we're gonna select two and leave two because we want another shape of tooth so two 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 out two in one two one two, one two, one two, one two, one two, and then again we're gonna scale them down. Then we select them and we create the face, and then we're gonna select the face we created and we're gonna extrude the region 
and here we have a different kind of cog. We need to create a hole, quickest way, cylinder, select the cog, boolean, select cylinder, difference option, apply, and here we have our second cog. Now, what's missing still in both of this model is some bevel to the edges. The edges are very sharp and there's no such thing in nature. There's no such edge in nature. All the edges are slightly softer, but we want to give some proper shape. So we can select our cogwheel and go to bevel and we can decrease the width of the bevel because we want some bevel but not too much and this will make our cog a bit more realistic let's do the same for the other one Especially if you render those cogs, you will realize that they will look much better with this kind of profile. And here we are. Let's name them. So, one and go wheel two. and we'll go to the next object, the bolt. Let's start with the top of the bolt, which is basically usually a hexagon shaped. And we just build an hexagon. Here it is. Just select the, the all the vertices. We make a face, and then we select the face, and we extrude the face a little bit. And this is gonna be the head of our bolt. And we're gonna also add some bevel to it. Okay, next part is gonna be the long part of the bolt. I don't know what's the name. Now let's say that this is the bolt length. I want it to be slightly larger. Actually, I want this to be slightly taller too. Now, what's missing here is clearly the screw of the bolt. There's no threads. So, we're going to create the threads. Let's go into front window, front view. And now we're gonna create the profile of the thread. To create the profile of the thread, my suggestion is starting with the plane. We're gonna flip the plane. The plane is now horizontal. We need the plane to be vertical. So it's gonna be 90 degree. We actually need triangle shape so we have one vertex too much here we're gonna select vertexes I'm gonna remove one of them and now we can build the profile of one of the 
teeth. So a bit for even as we need more control. Let's see, we'll start from here roughly. So now we have the profile of the teeth, but its center, its origin, it's here. We need this to revolve around the main, the center of the bolt. So what I will do as our 3D cursor, it's already at the center, and you can check here, it's exactly in the, at the center, we can change the origin of the object to the 3D cursor. So now we can screw, add the screw modifier, Y axis, and let's go on a side view so you can see if I, if I say How many? I don't know, I will just reach the top. But well, here we are. Of course, we can increase the number of steps to have a more round profile. our bolt. And proceed to the next object, which is going to be number three, the coil. This is a quick one, very quick one. A circle, we create a circle, today we are using only the circle. I would say that for a coil probably 16 vertices are enough, as it's gonna be very tiny. And I'm going to rotate this 90 degree. And then I'm going to move it. The reason why I'm moving it is because I want this to be the profile that will revolve around a center. And set the origin of the object to the 3D cursor. So now this object will rotate around that center. Screw again. I go up. And guess what? Ta-da! That was easy and fast. Now you can play a little bit with the shape of it. For example, decreasing the angle will make your coil longer. You can add more iteration. You can use this for animated coil, for example. And here are the three objects we created today. The bolt, a couple of cogwheels, and the coil. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Blender content. Happy modeling everybody. Thanks for watching. Ciao.